Hello everyone, I'm Marty Owings and this is your Capital Update for Tuesday, March 11th, 2014. It's been a very busy first few weeks here at the Capitol. In fact, it's been the busiest anyone around here can remember, at least in terms of new bills. More than 500 bills were introduced on day one here in the legislature. The bills covered everything from taxes to Sunday liquor sales. Speaker of the House Paul Thiessen said in a statement that the DFL's top priorities would be to raise the minimum wage and get a bonding bill done. Governor Mark Dayton is on the record stating he would support raising the minimum wage to $9.50 an hour. Among the other issues being debated so far this session, medical marijuana, anti-bullying, and tax cuts. In fact, the House passed a $503 million tax cut, which repealed some of the business-to-business -business taxes that were passed last year by the same legislature. And finally, there have been a number of key Republicans announcing that they will not seek re-election. Among those was longtime Lakeville State Rep. Mary Liz Holberg. The Republican lawmaker has been an advocate for privacy rights and a fiscal hawk. Holberg, who has served in the House since 1998, said she plans to, quote, continue to serve our communities in the future, unquote. Also worth mentioning was Representative David Fitzsimmons, who announced he will not seek re-election after he failed to receive the GOP endorsement. Fitzsimmons was one of a handful of Republicans who voted in favor of the same-sex marriage law. Republican Representative Jennifer Loon also failed to receive uh, received the GOP endorsement for the same reason, but may still run in a primary. For more on these and other stories, don't forget to follow us on Twitter at MNCAPNews and on Facebook at Minnesota Capital Conversation. If you send us a good question, we'll ask it on the air. For political news and analysis from the Capitol, tune in every Wednesday at 7.10 a.m. to KFAI's Morning Blend, 90.3 on the FM dial. And check us out at MNCapitalNews.com. From Minnesota Capital News, I'm Marty Owings. Thank you for watching.